seize the day. As I talked about in my Dead Poets Society video, I have always needed to feel like I had permission for everything that I do. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Whether that's from a parent or a leader or a book, something, um, I always felt like I needed to get permission before I could move ahead on things. And so that's always been a thing that's, that's held me back because it was like I didn't value my own ideas. Now when you read, don't just consider what the author thinks, consider what you think. And this desire to improve this led to one of the most singular experiences of my life. Um, a very strange experience. There was a convention coming up, one of those where there's a whole room full of tables and booths and salespeople all trying to pitch whatever magic thing that is that they have that they think that you need. I've always struggled with salespeople because I felt like they had some sort of power over me to convince me to do something that I didn't want to do. And so I decided I was going to go to this convention and not be triggered, not be scared, anything like that. I was just going to go and I was going to visit every table, every booth in the place and allow them to pitch their wares to me and I'd sign up for their newsletter or their freebie or whatever it was they had and not be bothered or triggered by it. I'd just say thank you and, and be gracious and, and move on to the next one. And Anyway, I, I went through this and did this, signed up for a whole bunch of stuff that I had to unsubscribe from later on, but it was a good experience. And a lot of people called me up later on saying that I had won their, their thing, of course. One of the people that called me, um, he's offering a one hour consultation, like a, a counseling session. And so I went with him. It was kind of weird because we, we met at this renta, renta office. So that was a little scary, but it ended up being good. It was a good conversation. And as we were getting up to leave, he said to me, he said, I think the thing that you need in your life to move forward will show up for you within the next week or so. And that's kind of a bold and strange statement to say. But what's even stranger is, I said back to him, I already know what it is. Because as he had said, this thing that I needed to move forward in my life would show up in the next week, I could see exactly what it was. And he was like, oh really, what is it? And I said, it's a book. He's like, great, what book? And I said, I don't know, but I know where it is. I knew at that moment that I needed to go to a specific thrift store. And in my mind, I could see this aisle of a thrift store and a certain shelf on that aisle. And I knew that the book was the last book on the right of this aisle of books, the third shelf up. So he said, let me know how that turns out. So. I got in my car and I drove immediately to this thrift store, which is like five or 10 minutes away. Went in there and, and I needed to say that this is not a normal thing for me. This kind of stuff doesn't happen to me all the time. This is really weird. And I was thinking either this is going to be amazing, some book that's going to give me permission to, to move forward in my life in, in different areas, or this is going to be a major letdown and proof that I'm a little bit crazy. And so I walked in there anticipating what could this, this book be about. And I walked to the aisle, I walked to that row of books. And the last book was kind of pushed in a little bit. I couldn't see exactly what it was, but I knew that was my book. And so I reached for it and I pulled it out and I looked at the title and I laughed. It's called The Book of Useless Information. Thousands of things you didn't think you needed to know and probably don't. And I've never actually read the book, but I feel like this, this book cost me $2. The price is still on here. This book kind of gives me permission. It's like God saying, you don't need permission to do everything. Here's the book. If you need it, here it is. And so I keep this book in my closet and I look at it every morning and I realize that I can choose for myself what it is that I want to do, that, that God trusts me to make good decisions. And now I have proof and permission. Don't you forget this. Let me know in the comments below if you have a, a book or something that has helped you to, 
to motivate you to, to do the things that you need to do. Or if you think I'm a crazy person, let me know that as well. Thanks a lot. Talk to you next time.